Vegetarian. Snorkeling. Yeah, snorkeling. Thank you. I am looking forward to seeing you so Yeah, and you would see on the front of this postcard, relax in Hawaii, so you know. Um, explain snorkeling. Uh, like scuba dive, but without the tank, which is... Can do it in Krabi. Krabi is a beautiful place for snorkel. Snor snor they have boat, take you snorkel. And you know, meditated, meditation, that's what the monks do. Huh? Meditation. Yes. <laughs> I feel fantastic. F A N T A S T I C. Fantastic means wonderful. I feel wonderful. I feel great. Fantastic. Yeah. It's another way when people ask you, How are you today? instead of fine, thank you. You can say, Fantastic. Instead of so so. <laughs> have a fantastic day. I hope you have a fantastic day. Uh, looking forward to seeing you soon. Uh, but the spa, if you look how beautiful Hawaii is. Why would you want to go sit inside a spa? <laughs> When you have a beautiful beach, you can sit on the beach with your feet in the water. Why go to a spa and have a foot massage or something inside? You know, a spa is like inside, right? I would want to be outside, climb the mountains, go look in the volcano or something in Hawaii. Why go to a spa? You go to a spa anywhere, stay home. Um, vegetarian. B E G E T A R I A N. Vegetarian. A person who eats vegetables. No meat. And a uh, true vegetarian, no meat and no fish. Only vegetable and fruit. Can eat, they call them vegetarian, but they can also eat fruit. Some vegetarian, uh, called vegan, V-E-G-A-N, <clears throat> a vegan is a special kind of vegetarian that won't eat, won't eat dairy, will not drink milk, will not eat eggs, a vegan. They don't want to wear leather shoes or anything from animals, a vegan. They are very strong that you cannot kill an animal for human to use for food or they live it. Wow, a vegetarian. Vegetarian okay, but vegan a little bit strange, you know? It's hard to live in the world and not have anything from animals. How can they drive a car? Maybe the seat made from leather, you know? If you get a job and you come in the, your job, a chair made from leather, mm -hmm. what you gonna do? I don't want the job, I can't sit down. You know, hard to be a vegan. But um, anyway, you don't hear the word vegan very much, but you do hear vegetarian. Did you write that one? Oh, you can see vegetarian in your in your thing here. V e g e t a r i a n vegetarian. 
it, it also means person, a vegetarian, but it also means the food. I want to eat vegetarian food, only fruits and vegetables. Tell them about the vegetarian restaurant. Oh, very, very good. Um, tell them one. So, across the street. Thai vegetarian. Mm -hmm. And in Hawaii, you know, they have the Hawaiian language. Original Hawaiian. Hawaii is part of America now. <coughs> It's an American, it's a U.S. state, it's part of the United States of America. Hawaii's part of America, but before they have original indigenous, original people in Hawaii, the Hawaiians, they have their own language, Hawaiian language. And the Hawaii people, because they're in the ocean, it's very good fishing. They fish. They eat a lot of fish, like Thailand. They have a lot of fish, shrimp, right? Uh, so I have a joke. What's the Thai word for joke? Mukbalo. Okay. Do you know what the Hawaiian word? Yeah, Aloha. Okay. But you know what the word vegetarian means in Hawaiian language? The meaning? It means bad fisherman. Because the Hawaiian people all fish for their food. So a bad fisherman cannot catch the fish, he has to grow and eat the vegetables. <laughs> He's a bad fisherman. He cannot catch fish. You know, they catch fish with a like children when they You see the beach on there? The beach? When the beach comes, they have very big waves, but they will have a cove, C-O-V-E. A cove that comes in where the water's beautiful, clear like glass, and you can see the fish. And young boys, they teach them to take bamboo, Fish, fish. So Hawaiians are known to be good fishermen. They learn when they're little how to catch fish with their hand or with the stick. Um, so Hawaii, uh, all Hawaiians eat fish. So a Hawaiian that's a vegetarian that means he cannot catch a fish. It's a joke. Okay, let's go to Alaska. Alaska is also part of America. Do you know the story about Alaska? You know, America, USA, <laughs> no, I say it's different. Yeah. Well, this is the ocean. Okay, all of this is called North America. See, all of this is called North America. Asia's over here somewhere. 
Okay. Well, when the Earth goes around, up here is Russia. You know, on the other side of the planet, like Canada is here, and Russia is over here. If the, on the planet, here is called the North Pole. It's where Santa Claus lives. And the reindeer, Santa Claus has his reindeer. Okay. Uh, so, like Canada is here. Canada, USA, like that, Mexico. And then up and then the North Pole and then Russia is here. Okay, well Alaska was like well actually it's hard to draw it here, but say Russia's up here, okay? And then Canada comes down. Alaska is like here, okay? And it's all very, very cold, ice. Uh, and America, long ago, 100 years, I mean, 500, I don't know how many, we bought Alaska from Russia, very cheap. Yeah, uh, Russia made a big mistake. They had Russia needed money, and America had a lot of money, and we wanted that land. It was all ice. Everybody thought no good for anything, okay? But we didn't want Russia to try to come to America on the, you know, across the ice and come down to America, you know, for, to make war. So we bought it very cheap, very, very cheap from Russia. And now it turns out that the oil, it has more oil than anywhere in the world. And now it belongs to America. But we're not, we're not touching it. America, we're saving it. We buy our oil. We buy. We have money. So we buy oil from Vietnam, Argentina, Middle East, Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan. That's why we like to have wars over there, control the oil. And our own oil that we have in our land, we say. So 500 years, a thousand years, when all the oil is gone from the Middle East, from Singapore, Vietnam, America will still have oil. I don't know, good or bad. <laughs> That's the world we live in. But now many Americans move there and make a city called Anchorage. And uh, they also had gold there, a lot of gold. And Anchorage, maybe 100 years ago, a lot of Americans, some went there and found gold. So many, many go. And they built a big city called Anchorage. And they learn how to live in the cold and the snow, like Sweden or Norway. Alaska's about you know, it's up at the top of the, near the North Pole, in Sweden, Russia, over here, Alaska, over here. So it's very cold, the top 
of the earth. But in the summer, in the spring and summer, it's very beautiful, like this photo. And they have big, these big animals called caribou, similar, similar to reindeer. So people like to go there in the spring and summer for vacation. And the big cruise ships go there. Like from California, you can take a cruise ship up to Alaska. And from the ship, you can see how beautiful the land is, but you can also see uh, icebergs, big mountains of ice breaking off, of all the penguins, whales. Okay, can you read, please? Return. Return. Formative to the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. 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 There, there were sick people on the tip. We came outside of the 10 days. Then we took leave. Rafts. To the FTS. Arctic Ocean. I saw a lot of real life in including some Taliban. Now I'm going and Kuwait. See you soon. Children. Yes. Uh Caribou. It's it look the the print on this card. The way they did this, it looks like an N, but it's C A R I B O U. Caribou. C A R I B O U. Caribou. It's an animal. I think the name the word caribou is originally French. Maybe the French first saw it in Canada and they named it caribou. I think it's a French word. <coughs> okay. We read the postcards. Now let's write the number of the postcards where each sentence should go. I lost five pounds and I feel terrific. Card number one, two, or three. I lost five pounds and I feel terrific. Terrific is the same as fantastic. Remember postcard two, she went to the spa. She exercised every day. So it says she exercised every day and she went to the spa. So that would probably be postcard number two. I lost five pounds or what that would be, um, 10 kilos, something like that. I went to the spa, I exercised. Here she says I exercise. Okay, the next one. This was kind of dangerous. But we got there safely. Card one, two, or three. Yes, three. That's a very rocky, cold, kind of dangerous country. Big bears. Okay, and so that makes the last one, number one, Easter Island. It's a tiny island about 2,300 miles west of Santiago, Chile. Okay, so for the homework now you have examples how to write postcard. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Now, just write your postcard on, on the paper. It doesn't have to be a card. <laughs> okay. Oh, and you... New chapter. Chapter 8. 